Eugene residents are pleading with the city to save vital services on the Chompy Block. More than two dozen people voiced their opinions on the city's current solution to its $6.3 million budget gap. KZI 9 News reporter Nan Nguyen is live with their arguments now. Jennifer, most of the crowd at last night's meeting are patrons at Sheldon Pool right here on Willa Kenzie. The pool is just one of many services that the city says it may have to cut to fill its budget gap. So last night, that's why those who love, among other residents, spilled out into the halls and onto the sidewalks just outside the library to show their support against the pending cuts. The, the, the city is at a point, and you are at a point, where you really need to be very careful because I believe there's a high level of dissatisfaction in the community and that dissatisfaction is is focused on the handling and the use of reserve funds. That point was made clear, if not just by the sheer numbers who turned out to speak at the city's budget committee meeting, then definitely through their comments. Yeah, with all due respect to city staff, I think we have a manufactured crisis here. That the mindset behind these cuts is short-sighted. Uh, it's sort of a mindset of scarcity. And one after another. Sheldon, pull open. Would you please stand and raise your hand? Okay. They fought to keep their services. The impact of these proposed cuts to the human services in our community will be devastating. Our neighborhood publications are crucial to co cultivating constructive neighborhood dialogue. The fire department, however, cannot adequately respond to the needs of the community without maintaining the minimum staffing. Some argued for the better of the city. As a business owner and someone who is actively uh, has six open positions, I have to sell Eugene to people who might be coming in from out of town. We must maintain our community if we want it to grow and prosper. And others pleaded with committee members to find another way. Give this process six months from the reserves that will not completely use them up, but will give this group a chance to work. Call me, I'll help you any way I can. Please preserve these services in our library as well as everything else our people depend on. Thank you. Now, yesterday was just the beginning. The committee will hold its second meeting tomorrow and has already added another session to their calendar for Monday. Now, the public will have time to speak again during all the public comment sessions. Live in Eugene, Nanowin, KEZI 9 News.